Yeah, in a situation like that, yeah, how could one manager buy a to-let property further up north if they were based in London, but it was a good deal? Would you recommend using a state agent to manage a property? Yeah, you could use an estate agent because it's not going to be feasible. Let me tell you something right now. Yeah, when I move back down to closer to London, you're like Harlow or somewhere like that. I'm not even driving up to Northampton to manage these properties. Yeah, I'm, I'm not doing that journey. Yeah, I'm not. Do, I'm not driving up to Northampton to do these fucking viewings and that. So yeah, you probably have to get a, um, an estate agent to manage it. But what you could do, yeah, is you could do Airbnb with Airbnb. Yeah. You don't need to manage it. You don't need to physically even let the people in. How many people have used Airbnb right now, yeah, where they've got like a lock, um, the door handle is like a, a coded door handle, yeah, where you put in a pin and that, and it lets you in, yeah? There's no one, that like, there's no one to greet you at the door, no one to give you a key. You just go, you just book it online and you just turn up and you go in. You can do that. And then you, ha you have a cleaner go in afterwards and clean up the property. And they can be like your eyes and ears. So they will tell you if anything's broken or anything like that and take pictures. So if you don't want to manage, if you don't want to get an estate agent to manage your property, then do Airbnb. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do Airbnb and have the, the properties uh, um, like, with like electronic um, doors and that so that people then can um, go in on their own. That's what my brethren does. My brethren doesn't even live in the UK, but he does Airbnb on, on his properties. And he don't go in after them. He has a cleaner that goes in after them. And obviously they can report like, oh yeah, this is broken, that's broken. I mean, if you're paying a cleaner to go in, if you give them an extra 10 pound, I'm sure they will do some more thorough checks for you, innit? Like, why would they turn down the money? 